Hello, and welcome to the UW Madison Bursar's Office instructional video series. In this video, we will explain step by step how to access your 1098T tax form for annual tax reporting purposes. Please note that the 1098T tax forms are generated for students with social security numbers or tax identification numbers in our system. Each January, two emails will be sent to eligible students with mail accounts regarding their 1098T tax form. Students will be able to access their 1098T tax forms via Get My Document, UW Madison's vendor. It is important to note that per federal regulations, only a student can access their 1098T tax form. If you are a parent or guardian wishing to access your student's 1098T tax form, please contact your student. Now let's begin the process. In early January, you will receive an email from our office stating that you should be expecting an email that provides you with a link to access your 1098T tax form. The next email will be from the UW System Administration, the sender appearing as 1098 at eforms.uwsa.edu. The title of the email will be Form 1098T from UW-Madison Available, Important Tax Return Document Available. Read the email as it contains important information about how to access your 1098T tax form. More specifically, note the date by which your 1098T tax form must be accessed. If you do not access it before that date, you will be mailed a paper copy to the address we have on file. As you read, you will see the words View Document. Click the link. The link will take you to our vendor's website, which is www.getmydocument.com. The next page requires you to verify your information. Your secure certification will automatically be filled in. You simply have to enter in the last four digits of your tax ID number, which are the last four digits of your social security number. If your first name is not filled in, try entering your full name or your nickname. If your last name is not filled in, try adding in spaces or punctuation. If your last name is recently changed, try entering in your previous last name. Next, read the consent and disclosure information. Then, enter in the CAPTCHA code as it appears above the text box. Finally, select I consent. You will be taken to your Get My Document document inbox. Your 1098T tax form will be stored in your inbox for 120 days. Then, it will be moved to your archived folder. You will need Adobe Reader to access the form. If you do not have Adobe Reader, click the Adobe Reader icon to download it. To access your 1098T tax form, click on the link that says UW-Madison Form 1098T. The current year is included in the title as well. Once you click on the link, you will be taken to a page that previews the document. There is also an icon that says Download this document. In order to print or save the document, click on the icon. Your computer may request permission to allow pop-ups from GetMyDocument.com. This is a necessary step. Click your respective button to allow pop-ups. In my case, I click Open. Once the document is open in Adobe, you can print it. If you would like to keep a copy for your records or provide a copy for whomever files taxes on your behalf, click File on the top of the page and select Save As. Type in a name for the document and press save. This will save a PDF of your document to your computer, which makes your document easier to access. You also can then attach that file to an email. It is a good idea to save the email containing the link to your 1098T tax form in your WhiskMail inbox until you have saved it and printed it. Congratulations, you have officially accessed your 1098T tax form. Thank you for watching.